Elcom friends, it's taking this long, but iOS 17 finally supports multiple timers in iOS and iPadOS clock apps. So now users are now able to set multiple timers without installing third-party apps. Please watch this full video for a complete guide. Keep in mind that Apple iOS 17 will come in September. As always, let's watch how to set multiple timers on your iPhone. First of all open clock app or launch the control panel from the top right corner and tap on time icon to launch. Now hit the timer button, that's why you can see here the timer screen and settings. Finally, a plus sign button appears on the top right side which is allows to set multiple timers. My friends this button which was not available before on iOS 16 and earlier. Let's see my iOS 16 running iPhone 11 has not plus button because the phone is not updated to iOS 17. Okay now let's just set a timer by click on the plus button. Wow, Apple gives some presets for example timers for 1 minute to up to 35 minutes. On the above part of the timer screen, we can set a custom time to arrange for the timer. Choose hours, minutes, and seconds to start the timer. Before taping on the start button, you should give the label name for a particular timer. On the below type, you can see the time or label name ideas. Advantage of a label name is each countdown you set can be given a label which helps you identify it in a list. For added convenience, the time or list will also include any recent completed countdown that you used. Furthermore, set a sound so that when the timer ends, your phone will announce a sound, and you can know what item timer is finished. On the screen, you can choose sound, which is your favorite sound let me know in the comment below. It would be nice to be able to either set different tones for different timers, or have the timer named automatically announced after the alarm sounds. If you don't want sound at the end of the timer completed, then go with stop playing or you would like to set a custom sound. Please go with tone store or choose download all purchase tones. You can delete the timer by swiping to the right from the left and tap delete still. There is not a button to delete all timers at a time. I hope this will possible in future Udbit. So this was about multiple timers. Now I talk about multiple timers on the lock screen. I'm showing you my lock screen. With multiple timers, the phone screen looks like this. When several timers are running simultaneously, all of them will be listed on the lock screen, and the last one you set will appear in the dynamic island. So if you want to show all timers, tap on a timer, that's why a full list view will appear. You can view, pause and you can cancel any timers from the lock screen, so it is a hassle-free shortcut. To minimize the timer list, just tap on the show less button. That's simple. So this was all about multiple timers. I would love to see announcing labels for multiple timers in the future update. Please share your thought in the comment below. Please, please like this video and share it with other guys and help them.